I was so bored with my hair last September that I decided to highlight and cut my hair. I felt I needed a change. I tried to get an accurate cut by measuring my hair first and then cutting. So I measured out approximately 10 inches. Yeah, I tried to cut 10 inch, cut my hair up until 10 inches and I ended up leaving or losing seven to eight inches of hair. So I tried to get a precise cut as you can see with me with the measuring tape and I just snip away. Hair is gone. And my hair has actually grown in much thicker, fuller, and longer since the cut. I'm actually regretting not cutting more of my hair. I wish I had cut the back of my hair as well. So my hair is a lot healthier since that cut. So if you guys are holding on to really dead, brittle, dry, frayed hair, you need to go on ahead and snip, 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 and give your hair a fresh start. This is me after the cut, and I was so loving my highlights and my layers. Honey, you couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> this is me June 21st after revealing the big reveal. And this is me a few weeks shy of a year. And as you can see, all of my hair has grown back in fuller, longer, and healthier. So I'm still loving my hair. My hair grows half inch, sometimes one inch per month, depending on the season. And I usually retain between six to nine inches of growth. And people come to me all the time complaining that their hair won't grow. What can I do, girl, girl? I'm telling you, sister with real hair, my hair will not grow. Now, girl, you know that's a lie. <laughs> we all know it is a physiological fact. As humans, our hair grows on average half inch per month, six inches per year. But if you're unable to retain your length, which what that really means is holding on to the oldest part of your hair, which is your ends, you'll never see progress and your hair will remain stagnant. So if my hair grows half inch from my root, but breaks off half inch from my ends, I'm not making any progress. The key is to hold on to your ends, the oldest part of your hair, as long as possible. I do that by CMT. And if you've been following me long enough, you know exactly what CMT means. Come on guys, CMT. Condition, moisturize, and trim. That is my system. Pretty simple, but it works. In the next clip, you will see an example of how I retained length for one year. My hair was cut to 10 inches, September 20th, 2012. And here we are one year later, September 23rd, 2013. Here I retained eight inches of growth. I trimmed off one inch, which left me with seven inches of hair retained for one year. I know what you guys are thinking. This girl thinks she is so cute, honey. You can't tell this girl anything. No, no, let me explain. I am working on a personal project and um, this is kind of like a practice run for my personal project prior to the finished product. So there is a lot of flipping and tossing of the hair in this project. So don't mind me. Just go with it, but it will make sense in the future. <laughs> 